is now realized that most of the major disorders like heart disease, Alzheimer's, most forms of cancer and diabetes involve a complex pattern of genes. As yet, no one knows how many. And no one knows what most of these genes do. Professor Steve Jones thinks we may need a reality check. There's a nasty sense that really what we've sequenced, what we think of as genes, may be something much more complicated than we thought. Maybe every one isn't just making one protein and doing one job. Maybe every one is doing dozens of different jobs. Each, each so-called gene may be a black box with dozens of little units hidden inside it, which are cut and spliced and arranged in a way that we don't understand. By the mid-1990s, scientists realized that understanding complex genetic diseases meant understanding every single gene in the human body. But they had to find them first. Imagine all the DNA in your body stretched out like a road. Over a journey of a thousand miles, you would pass 50 base letters every inch. And just like the real landscape, much of that DNA landscape would look the same. Featureless, inactive. Vast numbers of repeated letters, much of it seemingly doing nothing. It's estimated that only 3% of DNA is part of a functioning gene. Occasionally, there are areas that make something. These are the genes that are actually producing proteins. What the rest do, no one knows. A lot of it appears to be junk left behind from our evolutionary past. There is a lot of junk in there, undoubtedly. But the thing which I want to emphasize is it's actually quite straightforward to go and sequence, to get the order of letters, junk and, and meaning, all the whole thing. Now, that's 3,000 million letters. Sounds quite a lot, but it's not actually that much in terms of computation. With a little compression, you can write it on a single CD-ROM. You can actually have a CD-ROM which contains the instructions to make a human being. Nobel Prize winner Professor Sulston oversaw the Human Genome Project, perhaps the most far-reaching scientific venture ever. At a cost of $3 billion, it drew together scientists from 18 countries across the world. Its goal? To find and record every gene in the human body. Taking samples of DNA from the average population, they looked for regular areas of activity, the genes common to all of us. Every single one was then plotted on a map. This is the human genome. After 10 years, they now know where almost all of our 35,000 genes are located. But the real task has barely begun. Yes, I mean, what we've done with the, with the human sequence is to, is to read the book. We read the string of letters on the pages, OK? We haven't, or we've only just begun, to figure out which of those letters really mean anything. All across the world, genetic labs are in a race to profile the gene combinations that make us predisposed to major illnesses. 